Apple Core Lesion of the Colon. In one of the lessons on intestinal obstruction, we mentioned apple core lesion of the colon. In this video, we will discuss a bit more about such lesions. The x-ray image in front of you is from a double contrast barium enema study. The word enema refers to pushing of a liquid into the rectum through a small tube. In case of barium enema, the liquid contains barium sulfate that coats the inner lining of the colon. Barium sulfate is a radio-opaque contrast medium, which means it does not let the x-rays pass through it. Radiographic density of the intestines is similar to many other soft tissues within the abdomen, and therefore it's not possible to view the outline of the intestines on plain x-rays. When barium sulfate is pushed into the colon, the coating results in a relatively clear silhouette of the colon on x-rays, as visible on the image. To produce even higher quality images, air is also introduced into the colon through the enema tube, which has the opposite density. Such radiographic studies are thus known as double contrast studies. These tubular structures on this image are part of the colon. You can see a short area of narrowing of the lumen as compared to the rest of the visible large bowel. This constricted area resembles a leftover core of an apple after the bulk of it has been eaten, hence named apple core lesion. It is produced by eccentric thickening of the internal walls of the colon, which causes stenosis. Severe narrowing of the lumen leads to bowel obstruction. The sign is typically and frequently seen in patients with colorectal carcinoma. However, it can be a serious mistake to assume that it always represents a colonic carcinoma. Histology remains the most reliable technique for the correct diagnosis. The classical radiographical feature of the colonic apple core lesion is narrowing of the colonic lumen which appears as a short and sharply defined area on barium enema or CT scan studies. It has overhanging margins, usually has ulcerated mucosa, eccentric and irregular lumen. The colonic stricture is usually 3 cm to 4 cm in length and rarely exceeds 6 cm. An apple core lesion can be caused by a number of reasons, most sinister and most common of which is the malignant neoplasm, as mentioned before but it can also be caused by infective processes or even inflammatory bowel diseases such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. The sign sometimes can also be caused by extrinsic compressing lesions. Following is the list of differential diagnosis. Colonic adenocarcinoma, diverticulitis, endometriosis, lymphoma, Crohn's disease, chronic ulcerative colitis, ischemic colitis, tuberculosis, cytomegalovirus, and villus adenoma. These differentials should be kept in mind and should be correlated with the clinical indicators to avoid misdiagnosis. Now the question is, what part of the anatomy are we looking at? Unfortunately, we only have one image from the study. Radiologists and clinicians have access to the whole study, which has many images from different angles covering different parts of the anatomy, which makes it possible to precisely pinpoint the area of pathology. However, we will try to do our best with what we have. You can see that one of the femoral heads is visible. This is the neck of the femur, and this is greater trochanter. So we are definitely looking at one of the lower quadrants of the abdomen. Note that the neck of the femur is projecting over the greater trochanter. The greater trochanter is located laterally if you look at an AP view of the hip joint. Only when you rotate the patient laterally, the greater trochanter goes behind the neck and the neck and greater trochanter appear superimposed on each other as in this case. Thus we can conclude that the patient is rotated on the side, which is often necessary to take a clear view of the area of interest, in this case, apple core lesion of the colon. This bony structure would then be the iliac crest of the pelvis, and this would be a lumbar vertebra. Now, is it right lower quadrant or the left lower quadrant? If it was the right side, we should be seeing cecum, which has a totally different appearance to what we currently see. So this is certainly left lower quadrant, which makes this a sigmoid colon, and the lesion is in the distal part of the descending colon. Also note that the lining of the colon visible in this image is the innermost layer of the colon. Outermost layer is not visible. This is because only innermost layer can be coated with barium. The tumor within this part of the colon is growing in a concentric fashion decreasing the size of the lumen and creating this unique appearance. Apple core lesions are also frequently seen on CT scans of the abdomen with much more details. Outer layers of the colon are also visible on CT scans. Additional information such as fat stranding or lymph adenopathy 
is also visible, which cannot be appreciated on barium studies.